Hello lovely Virgos. Right, what's coming in for you? We're going to look at your love life. We're going to look at channel messages and anything else that we need to know about. Let me know if you've been watching any good documentaries. Every month I ask Virgo a different question and you give me brilliant answers. So, the latest one I've watched is, I think it's called America's Sweethearts. And it's about the Dallas cheerleading squad. Absolutely brilliant, seven-parter. I have loved every minute of that. So, yeah, let me know. If there's anything you're watching on any of the streaming services, documentary-wise... Put it in the comments section. Okay. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Ooh. Interesting. Nobody else has had that one so far. I'm going to take a couple of overall energy cards for you. Ooh, one that doesn't want to come out. Okay, very nice. First card I get, Virgo, is the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is a card of childhood sweethearts. It's a card of kind of the past. It can be of an ex. It can be of old times. It can be just like a, a nostalgia, you know, a feeling of something from the past kind of calling you back. It's a bit like the minor arcana of judgment. So... It can be very sweet. Notice all the flowers are white. There's a sense of innocence. There's a sense of going back to a time when it was just me and you. For some of you, this is a love card. I'll be looking at your love life in a minute. We're going to do career, destiny, love life. But as an overall energy card, it's a bit like... And this is really weird. So I'm obviously, I'm getting channeled some weird stuff at the moment. I am getting channeled for you and it is so clear and this might only be for one of you and for God's sake, please say hello in the comments if it's you because I'm going to seem like I'm mad. But do you remember those music boxes when you were a child and they were like almost like a sort of pink and white sort of treasure chest thing and then they'd have a, what I'm getting here is a gold flimsy clasp. Open the clasp and a ballerina with a little net skirt doing a on one leg thing whatever they're called and then there would be a song like love story or something like that and this little song i think you could sometimes wind it up at the back i can't even remember that and it's pink silk inside with a round mirror like that i have no idea why i'm getting that for you it might just be for one of you um, help me out in the comments section, Virgo, but that's what I'm getting for the Six of Cups. So it's that whole kind of, I remember this, I remember when, I remember you, I remember that feeling, I remember, I remember, I remember, okay? We then have the Queen of Pentacles. Nice energy, because you're a Virgo, you're mutable Earth. I like, I mean, I'm a mutable sign too, so I like mutable signs. I think it's nice to have the security of Earth being a Virgo, but also to have the changeability of being mutable. And that's what the Queen of Pentacles is. She's secure, she's elegant, she knows that things happen in seasons. She knows that she's feeling this Six of Cups, this pull, this desire. But she also knows that there's a time. There's a time for this to happen. There's a time for waiting, you know. There's a time for biding, actually. It's, she's not waiting. She's biding her time. Okay. So you're coming across as someone who's biding your time. Someone who feels a call to something from the past. Very interesting. And I get the Magician. The Magician is a card of bringing something down from above. As above, so below. So bringing some kind of information or magic or love or whatever it is. You're kind of bringing it down and you're conducting it down into the 3D. 
So it's coming from above, okay, very important. And you get the magician with the five of pentacles. So the five of pentacles is a situation, you've got the two people outside the church. The logical thing is they'll go inside the church because it's warm, there's some food, etc. But they don't, they stay outside, they're taking the walk in the snow. If we look at these cards together, it's a yearning, it's an inclination, it's a desire to go back. It's the Queen of Pentacles knowing that you're kind of hanging in there, but with grace and elegance. And then the magician, you're looking towards this magician. So you're looking to bring something down to earth that's meaningful to you. And this could be a life purpose thing. This could be what you're doing at work. This could be in a relationship. You're looking to bring the magic. Then we have this five of pentacles. There's been a period of time, a few weeks or months, where you've been choosing to, I suppose, do things the hard way, even though it's not doing things the hard way because it's, it's doing things the only way you know, actually. It's about taking that difficult route, taking that, it's about rejecting jam tomorrow. You know, there's an easy way to do what you're doing, but you chose not to do the easy way because of the long-term goal. Some of you may be taking um, a lower paid job because they're giving you training or you're learning something, or you know in the end it's gonna lead to something really good. You know, it's that kind of energy. Or it could be that this is to do with relationships and that you are biding your time because you know that you belong with somebody and you want them to return to you or whatever that is, okay? Let's have a look at career specifically in these next cards and then I'm gonna look at your love reading. When we do the love reading, there's always an extended reading. So if the love reading really resonates, that will be the first link in the description box, but see what happens when you get there. Okay, career. Career for the gorgeous Virgos. Nice, that's come up a few times actually. So we get the Ace of Wands, which is a sense of fire and excitement, okay, which we're very pleased to see. And the Four of Wands, this is cool. Well, it's hot actually. This is about creativity. It's a prime mover when you get the Ace. It's about a new beginning, but it's also about a feeling of harnessing some sort of creativity and making something happen from it. Love, love, love this card for you. Could be that fire sign people are very lucky for you at the moment as well or that you're on the cusp of Leo, because Virgo can be on the cusp of Leo, of course. Then this multiplies like fourfold and becomes the four of wands. If you follow your bliss, it's gonna take you somewhere, okay? Somewhere tangible, somewhere real. Some of you may be in this situation at work where you sort of know that it would be easier to stay, that you could get by, that you could settle. But when you have that five of pentacles and when you feel that kind of magic come knocking here, you don't want to settle. That option kind of slides off the table. Let's take another card for work. That one didn't even get a chance to shuffle. Look at that. Get your own card, Virgo. Love it when a star sign gets their own card. So this is you, okay? Imagine that this and the magician here are related because they are. There's a feeling of being the magician but in a cloak here and also alone on top of a hill, okay? That's basically what the um, hermit is. The hermit has evolved. 
The hermit no longer needs to show anyone what they can do or demonstrate any of this magic. The hermit is like, I'm just going to take my big stick and I'm going to stand at the edge of society. I'm going to look into my lamp. Okay, I'm going to feel the wisdom. So Virgo, I'm going to say a couple of things here about career for you. One is that a job is going to look really good on paper, but you're not going to feel like taking it. And that's OK, because I feel like your juju is good. I feel like you know what you know. And even though you look at it, maybe the salary looks really good or something about the location or the hours or whatever it is. I feel like something's a bit off. This could already have happened know that you're in your highest energy when you're in solitude and that doesn't mean you shouldn't go around seeing anyone it just means take a few moments to look inside the lamp and actually really think to yourself why am i here why am i here in the universe shrink it down why am i here in this town shrink it down why am i here in this house shrink it down why am i here in this workplace or doing this thing Oh, there's a lot of why am I here going on for you. Bit of uh, existentialist angst, Virgo. Nice. Okay. couple more on this and then we're going to look at your love life. Let me just push all those up a bit. Knight of Pentacles. That's come up a lot as well actually. And there it is. Judgment. Okay. When I get the Six of Cups, I'm always looking to see if judgment is in the reading. And when I get judgment, I'm always looking to see if the Six of Cups is here. Judgment, three, three people on the card, past, present and future. There is a sense here of bringing something back from the past. Knight of Pentacles as well is like a slow working through of something. There is some kind of call to your past here. It's not obvious and it feels like it is slow. It feels like a cycle and a, a pattern that's working through. It's almost like when you see this card with the magician that the cycle is going through, you know, that eight, which is kind of like two cycles put together. It feels like you are making a slow progression, both forwards and backwards at the same time, picking up a tab of something that happened in the past and seeing what you can do about it now. It's maybe something you were not powerful or you didn't feel powerful enough to change before, but suddenly now you do. Well, actually, no, it's not sudden. It's gradual, but it's going to feel sudden because it's going to pop up and you're going to think, wow, why didn't I think of that three months ago? But you kind of subconsciously did. Very interesting. You're more powerful now than you were in the past. You were excluded or frozen out or just were on the edge of something and that hurt your feelings, but now you don't even want to get back into that. You've got the power now. God, let's have a look at your love life. I have a feeling it's kind of along sort of similar veins. Chariot, five of wands. You're battling with something in your love life. We've got two horses going in different directions in the chariot. 
So this could be that you're weighing it up, that your emotions are a bit out of control, that you're feeling physically one way, mentally the other, or physically one way, spiritually the other, that there's a good and a bad, there's an up, there's a down. We've got some kind of communication breakdown here with the Five of Swords. God, that guy. I always think of him as the toilet cleaner of the tarot. Um, it feels like he's been knocking around every single reading that I've done this month. Okay. You've got a breakdown in communications here. Possibly someone said something too fast because the Knight of Wands is someone who sort of speaks first, thinks later. But also some of you could be involved with a fire sign because there's a lot of fire coming up. But the other thing is, I've been getting um, fire coming up in the in signs that aren't fire signs, you know, and I can feel that you've got a bit of fire here as well, which is quite nice. Yeah. Nice. You're going to be called upon to state your boundary. Oh, let's just get rid of that a minute. To state your boundary. We've got this four of swords here, which is about making peace with something or someone. And then we've got the nine of wands here, which is about boundaries. Someone's going to push your boundaries in a conversation. It's what the Knight of Wands does. It's not necessarily a bad thing either, but you could get angry or upset or it could annoy you. But actually the upshot of it is that you get to understand each other better than if you'd both kept it just quiet and polite. The King of Pentacles shows up. This is a really nice card to get because essentially it is a Virgo card for me. It's what you bring to the table. It's that sense of fairness and consistency. But let's have a look what you're getting in return. Oh, well, that's nice. I've got a lot of time for getting the Six of Pentacles. Okay. You are consistent, reliable, in this particular relationship or in relationships in general. What may have happened in the past is you may have been frozen out, you may have been not included, or you may have felt that the other person, you know, there was a dissonance. The other person was not bringing something to the table in the same way that you are. This is about someone wanting to bring something to the table, but they're now asking the question of you or the universe is, are you ready to receive? Sometimes when you've spent a long time giving, it's really difficult to switch into receiving mode. And again, we get this switch a Rooney card. There again, do you remember on the magician where we've got that infinity? We have it again here with the two of pentacles. There is a changing of roles, there's a changing of power, and you go from being the giver to being the receiver of something. And it's not necessarily an easy switch to make, but in the past, with the Six of Cups and the Judgment card, I feel like you've always been the one to give way, and you've always been the one to put in the effort and to make the sacrifices. And now what the universe is putting in front of you is someone doing that for you? And sometimes that's really hard to take. In the extended reading, I'm going to look at that. I'm gonna look at judgment in particular. I'm gonna draw um, a whole new reading with a different deck as well. And I'm gonna look at the dynamic between you and this person. Um, the light and the shade, the difficulties, the obstacles, the positive side to it, and also you know, how do they feel? How do you feel? What's the best way forward? So we're going to look at that, okay? Let's take some love oracle cards for you. You get nurture, which is about nurturing relationships as if they were flowers or plants. 
and I feel like you normally do do that but maybe someone hasn't been doing that for you I and mean, how much water do you require as a plant you know do you feel guilty for needing water at all yeah you get voids and it says a void a void rushing to fill the voids with love seek your own inner fulfillment but also expect to receive instead of to have to give all the time that's the biggest takeaway for this reading so far okay get into receiving mode and start enjoying the feeling of someone giving and initiating to you okay i'm going to go do your extended reading virgo if you want to join me i am first link in the description box leave me a comment with your favorite best ever documentary so i can get my list up to scratch and i'll see you on the other side namaste